Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 on my Simple Cube Ultra HBOT build. So, I want to address a couple things in the first video. Um, I was referring to this printer as a Core XY, but a double belt. And the reason that is, Clipper actually will treat this printer as a Core XY. Um, the X and Y motors are core to the kinematics, so it is basically the same, but this um, belt layout is referred as HBOT, so I will be calling it HBOT going forward. And I want to make some disclaimers on this. I have no idea if this printer is going to print well. Um, I have owned some HBOT printers before. The MakerBot Replicator 2 was my very first printer and it printed flawlessly, so this is not going to be a printer for speed. This is going to be for print, call, print quality and also for um, inexpensive. I want to make this printer as cheap as possible and that's kind of why I'm designing this. I want it to be simple, easy to build, and to be inexpensive. So again, I have no idea if this printer is going to print well. This is a prototype and an experiment. So let's start talking about what I've done here. First thing, I've beefed up these idler mounts. So I, I was, uh, I didn't want them to have any deflection at all, so I have beef those up. They're much stronger now. We have the uh, Stealth Burner tool head basically complete. I have a Fadus Rapido in there, of course. All my fans are in there. It's basically ready to go. This printer is mechanically done. Now let's actually go and talk about the Z. So, I am doing a try belted Z on this printer. There's a couple reasons I'm doing this. One, I don't want to have lead screws. I don't want to have lead screw wobble. It's very difficult to get lead screws that aren't bent. And then you're also constantly trying to figure out like, okay, what size of lead screw can I fit in this printer without hitting the build, like hitting the uh, tool head and all that kind of stuff. Belts solve all that. I can have any size of Z I want. I just run longer belt. I do have some tensioners here, just like I do on my Delta printer. These are 10 millimeter wide belts. Again, let's keep the printer simple. Let's use 10 millimeters all the way around. And these three steppers are going to be individually controlled. This will have three point tramming. So Clipper will actually be able to check a point here, check a point here, and check a point here, and it will actually tram it so it's perfectly level. You only need three points on a plane to make it level. And that's why we're using three motors and we're using three linear rails. And I am actually going to be VHB taping this glass plate as my bed. This will be heated and it will have a PEI build surface, of course. Um, I've already built a printer like this. My very first Simple Cube actually had a, ta I had a build plate that was just um, VHB taped right directly to this and the print quality was absolutely flawless. I think it gives it a little bit of vibration resistance if there's some vibration getting into the frame and it doesn't translate into your build plate as much. And um, yeah, this bed is not gonna tilt enough to need any sort of mounts. And again, this actually makes this printer very, very simple. I don't need a big thick metal plate with like custom tapped or drilled mounting screws or anything like that this will work just perfectly fine so i will order a silicone heat uh, mat for the bottom and a pi surface but for now i'll probably just print some pla uh, directly on top just for testing purposes and that type of thing so yeah uh, mechanical build is done like i say i'm literally just waiting for my power supply to show up which should be here today and this thing should be printing. So again, comment below with any questions or comments. I'm very, very curious to see this printer printing. I'm very excited to see it tramming itself and uh, see how good of a first layer we can get on here. 
All right, everyone. Thanks again, and feel free to subscribe and share.